Uh, Olympics is around the corner and I just wanted to post this question. So we're talking about the Algerian boxer, Iman Khalif. So Iman Khalif, uh, first of all, uh, went on uh, the media as if it is uh, a male doctor biologically who is, you know, looking to be female. And then some matters regarding to uh, her testosterone levels were set very high. Apart from that, the matter was clarified by the Olympics Committee. But some are saying that, you know, she still has a distinctive advantage to go to boxing. Biologically, doctor, how does this happen? So, well, she obviously had an issue where you need to understand that she was born as a female, right? But because of a condition, her testosterone levels were high. Therefore, she had some traits that were distinct to a man. So, I mean, you are, I mean, I understand from what aspect, you know, it becomes very ethical with, with regards to the question as to which particular sort of gender she qualifies as. But you need to always constantly ask the question that she was born as a female and she's still living her life as a female, right? She's still going through the normal processes as a female. So it is not a question of how uh, bulky or how her physical figure is that should judge if she should be in the opposite gender of this particular, you know, uh, boxing match, right? The important question is that you need to ask <clears throat> from her is that how much of discomfort or how much of hardships has she gone through mm. to come to this particular point, right? Now, just because a female is very tall, mm. do you keep on asking the same question? Mm. Just because a female is muscular, do you keep on asking this question? Because of other distinctive sort of features, people have actually brought this up. And again, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, if she, it would have been a completely different context if she was a male that had actually, uh, you know, she was born as, an, as a male and then later decided to be a female, then it would have been a completely different situation. Biologically, she was born as a female. It was just an issue with regard to her hormones that gave her distinctive male characteristics. But you have to understand that she's lived her life as a female. So therefore, she deserves to be in the female category. This is my personal point of view. Oh.